Hey guys, so I asked you guys to ask me some questions the past week or so, so that I can do a Q&A, so continue watching. Uh, yeah, I kind of do, I guess. I, I take him for coffee or whatever when I go on my coffee run, and then I try and take him to the park for as much as possible, because he seems to have this habit of getting very antsy at home and screaming sometimes. It's just his way of asking for attention. I, I guess it took some time building up. I found being online, it kind of was like a, a mix of building up my confidence more, but also shutting it down. But I, I guess it's probably built up more than it's shut down. I guess I more or less just have self-esteem issues at times, but whatever. Um, go to the park? I guess. I, I, I really don't know, because Rex is only 15 months, he like does so much different things, and one day he'll really enjoy a, a certain game or whatever, and the next day he just hates it. Or you just don't know what emotion he's feeling. So, McDonald's or Tim Hortons? Is Tim Hortons fast food? Sure. Okay. Sleep. <laughs> um, I guess if he was like, anytime when he's a kid, that's fine. I just don't feel like, well, I, not that I don't feel like it, I don't think I should be bleaching a child's hair. His hair is fairly light, so he'd probably be able to take color anyways, but if he wants to do it when he's a kid, why not? I mean... It's not like he has a job, so. Um, my income? <laughs> I'm sure that would be something that everybody would want to change. I don't know. It, a, a lot of kids don't like what their parents like, and then some do. Like, Mike's parents aren't like him, but my dad's kind of like me. Dyes his hair fun colors and... It's tattoos and piercings, so... Um... What did I felt? I, I don't know. That's... that's... Basically that. What is the next question? <laughs> Mike. <laughs> uh... There's a lot. Sephora. <laughs> well, not the brand. I forgot that they actually have their own brand. But... Yeah, I don't know, Jeffree Star, Kat Von D, Kat Von D's pretty good. <laughs> well, my first piercing when I was when I was uh, 15, 16, and tattoos, hmm, uh, 18, 19, when was a couple years ago, so. When he's old enough, yeah, but I mean, when he's a teenager, I wouldn't necessarily let him get whatever the hell he wants because I look back at the tattoos that I wanted when I was like 14 and I don't want them now, <laughs> especially the like big areas that I'd want to get them and stuff. So, um, I always like silvers and blues. I'm thinking about growing my roots out. I guess, and just kind of ombre it, but I'm still debating about that because I like colors, and I could imagine that the time of growing it out, the in-between time, I just really would hate the way that it looks. But yeah, N no, I had a lot. I did children, uh, child photos where I look like a twig just as much as I do now. Oof. I don't even know. That would be like... In the middle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh... Well... As for tattoo ideas, I've already had a few Disney-related tattoo ideas. Mostly like, I want to get... What's it? Mufasa on my arm. And my dad's name under it because he has a tattoo of Simba sticking his head through the like leaves or whatever when he's singing 
I just want to be king, and it's got my name written in it, so, yeah. And as for my wig business, um, I still continue to make wigs, but considering that I promote hair extensions and stuff, I might not do as much human hair stuff, because it's easier if, uh, or if I do, I guess, I would might work through VP or something with that, because I, I like their hair. Their hair is really good quality and it lasts, and I would like to sell it in my shop. It's just to get the money beforehand and all that. And I like the synthetic wigs that I sell. I just need to get more in stock and have a better area to make them and whatnot, which is why I'm moving next month, the end of this month. So, what's that? And... Well, sometimes you can say hi. It says mama and dada. I don't know, he kind of imitates what we're saying, so... He's he's learning a lot right now. It doesn't necessarily sound like words, but... It somewhat sounds like words. I'm using the wrong letters. School was kind of lame. I don't know, but I find... I always compare any drama that I see online in high school just because I seen way too much drama in my high school and people were ridiculous about that stuff but there was over 2,000 people at my school so what are you really gonna do? I got too many people and half the time I'd walk through the hallway and it would always be a new face <laughs> um not for a long time <laughs> not for a while I I'm good Thanks. You won't see those people in four years. So... Make good friends that you know you can keep after school. Other than that, just remember that school is there for you to learn. Because a lot of people just get focused on other things. Um, we met through friends. And just brought them over and then we started hanging out. And we've been together for about four years, so, yeah. Uh, the amount of times he can make me smile, but the amount of sleep I get, or lack, the internet, I don't know, when I was 15, 14, 13, depends, because it just kind of evolved. I've been asked that a few times and I never know what to answer because from what I've learned on social media it's kind of like you need to be popular to get popular or like yeah basically that you need to be popular to get popular there's not a whole lot where people can just work their way to that and even then I see some people who have 2k or whatever for years and it's like it's it's not bad or or anything it's just some people just aren't into it and some people just realize that it's all the same kind of stuff like lately i'm noticing the things that get the most likes on instagram are things that are very white faded and have floral designs and skin and tattoos and very aesthetic <laughs> I hope that video was interesting, whatever. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more.